Hello, my name is Uche Nozekwe. I am also known as Bethany Blaze. I'm your content craftsman and your personal transformation advocate. Today, I want to share with you a topic that says turning your burdens into balls. A few years ago, a lady went to a shop with her children. Along the along the line, um, the one of the children started crying, the younger one who is three years, and this was because he saw a young girl that was uh, that had a facial deformity, that was of genetic origin, and um, it frightened him so much that he had to cry. So um, after every, you know, cut the whole story short, the woman felt burdened by that and just imagine how it would be to live her, for someone to live her his or her life that way. So that night, she started writing a novel. That novel was released in 2012, titled Wonder. And the person that wrote this novel, who is the lady that recounted her story, is R.J. Palacio. Five years later, that was last year, um, 2017, the novel was adapted for a movie. That movie gulped 20 million dollars and made and garnered nearly 300 million dollars in the box office so why am i why am i heading with this story you know sometimes a lot of things happen in our lives and or a lot of we come across a lot of experiences we don't know how far that um, uh, experience will go a long way in determining our life and in, uh, influencing a lot of activities in our life that movie is really when you watch that movie wonder it's really an, an emotive movie in fact it's one of those movies that brought me to tears like it was something else but you can take it check it up you know featuring jacob tremblay and other up and coming young actor actor and uh well well known julia roberts and some other actors like owen wilson and etc now what are burdens burdens could be discomforts could be challenges, could be um, stresses and stretches that come our way and, uh, and that we come across every day. They could also be discomforts. So, but I want to tell you that just as this woman, just an experience she saw, imagine if she hadn't written that movie. Imagine if she hadn't gone to the extent she went to make sure that that movie was released or that book was written. Because that book actually made the bestseller, in, in, uh, make, uh, was a, it's a New York Times bestseller, and she made it, and it was finally uh, adapted for a movie, and that movie, you know, made did very well, or is still doing very well in the box office. So I urge you today, how, what is your attitude? Is it, uh, do you, what is your attitude towards those burdens? What is your attitude towards those experiences? Do you emphasize so much on what they are doing to you or do you emphasize so much on what you want to do with them? Because the problem sometimes is not based on what we see, but the way we see them. And sometimes it's not about how the thing affects us, but it's about how we use the pressure, the stress, the tension that thing is causing on us to change it, to bring it out something, to bring out something we out of it. Remember, it's always uh, one of the things about life is that we can it, 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 it can use that thing that is negative in our life and turn it into something positive. So just as this wonder made so much, it's become has become wonderful in is in a lot of ways. I urge you turn your wonder into turn your uh, burden into books. You can do it. You can do it by changing the way you look at that situation, that limitation, that encumbrance. That challenge and changing the way you your your attitude towards it one thing you should know is that no matter what happens in life one thing is certain you will always have a choice to make it or not to make it so I urge you today turn your burdens into balls sometimes you just have to stand out it's not about how whether you because one of the quotes I love from the movie is that you cannot okay let me paraphrase it you are meant to stand out meanwhile you are trying to fit in 
So when you understand that you have your gift and you are, you are, you are blessed, you are masterfully made. In fact, there is this um, a masterpiece is like a Leonardo, a Leonardo da Vinci or Leonardo da Vinci or like a Michelangelo trying to bring out a masterpiece and he's afraid that he doesn't want to make a mistake. That's what a masterpiece is. He's afraid that he makes he might make a mistake if he doesn't do it in a particular way, if he doesn't make that painting in a particular way, if he doesn't make that drawing in a particular way. That is what a masterpiece of an artist makes. He's, he doesn't want to, he wants, he's afraid of making mistakes in what he's crafting or in what he's constructing. So, in all these things, I want to encourage you today to turn your burdens into balls so that you can make the impact you are meant to make. Making impact is not limited to a certain group of people or people of a certain origin. The making impact is only limited to the way you feel, see yourself in your heart. Go on and make it happen. Thank you. Once more, my name is Uchenna Oze. I'm your also known as Bethany Blaze. I'm your content craftsman and your personal transformation advocate. Take care. God bless.